Hi, everybody. So today I will be talking about one of my favorite horse games that, sadly, no longer exists. A lot of people I see saying how they wish Belisera could come back and how, like, maybe another horse game as well. But one of the horse games I never see anybody talking about is Horseland, which was literally my favorite online horse game that I ever played. Besides Star Stable, of course. And closed in 2019, so it's been gone for quite a while, but let's get into it and talk about what it was. Some of the things I say will be just from memory, because of course, the game's gone. <laughs> but Horseland was a online game, it was an MMO, and it was also a browser game. So you didn't have to, like, install it and then ask for your parents' permission to, like, get the game to work. Like, you could just play online if you wanted to at any given time. But basically, Horseland was a game where you, of course, took care of horses, trained horses, showed horses in shows, and ride them around. <laughs> Take care of your horses, breed horses, you get the vibe. Like, that's how most horse games are. But I really liked Horseland because in this game, it was also not 3D, it was 2D. There was some 3D options to use, but for the most part, it was a 2D game. And you could ride around the world. I like to imagine that I was just an equestrian at a boarding school and I was riding around the world of Horseland to have friends and because you could have friends on there, you could talk to people and it was like really fun. And of course, like I had this issue where I would just buy horses until I couldn't care for them anymore. There were so many horses. A lot of the horses, I believe, were bred based on like genetics. So a lot of horses had different colors and white markings. It was really, really fun. So of course I spent a lot of my time breeding horses and training horses, riding horses, making friends, and of course, you know, buying more horses. <laughs> you could make money through playing mini games, which is really, really fun. One of the mini games I liked was, I believe, an apple game where you had to like catch the apples or whatever and the more you catch the more money you get and then I would get some money and then spend it on more horses. I literally had like hundreds of horses on my account that I could not care for. A lot of the players who played this game were girls and boys. I had friends in the game who were guys and friends in the game who were girls and it was fun to just run around the game having fun with them, playing, talking, all that. One of my favorite areas in the game was one of the forests that were there. The game was also very customizable, like you could have your different tack you wanted. Just imagine Star Stable, but 2D. And it was really fun. We didn't have like quests, I believe, but it was very, very social. And it was great because you could just, you had your own profile and all that. I just think of it as like imagine Furry Paws or like that horse game with a W in it you know, but you could actually ride around the horses and talk to people like webkins, but horses. <laughs> That's kind of how I always like thought about it. But a lot of people, when they hear Horseland, they think, isn't that a, you know, a cartoon? Yes, it was. In Horseland, you know, it's a game, of course, but in 2006, they made an animated cartoon series based off of the game. And now that cartoon is the one we know and love, Horseland, which has, you know, those multicolored horses and the really cool show we used to play that we used to all watch. I actually have Horseland on DVD, but that's where the Horseland show came from. It was from the Horseland MMO. And sadly, this game shut down in 2019, like I said before. And I was talking to a friend about it, and they said that maybe it's because Adobe kind of like gave out, I think, during that year which is really sad. I used to literally play, uh, I think it was Girls Go Games all the time, and a lot of the games I played in there I no longer could play because Adobe is gone. Bella Sarah also, I think, shut down because of Adobe, because, like, if you play the game, well, you can't anymore because Adobe doesn't really exist on browsers. So Adobe really just got rid of so many different games we had. Like, we had a lot of online browser games and what's sad though is that a lot of people who used browser games were kids who and adults who weren't able to play 3d games or buy games to play on their computer browser games are free don't get me wrong though you had to pay for horseland if you wanted a premium membership which i never was able to get but you were able to like unlock exclusive features in the game you could own horses of course but you could board 
horses through having a boarding stable and players could pay you to keep, you know, their horses at your place. You were able to buy clothing and tack and, of course, ride your horses around and chat with other people. And there also was, like I said before, 3D parts of the game. Um, I remember there was jumping, which I always failed. <laughs> but... Of course, there was a microtransaction model where you could buy coins, and I think that's also what could have caused them to shut down, maybe, because I know people were upset over this because this wasn't really how Horseland was, you know? Like, this was Horseland when I played it, but the game started in 20... Not even 2000, it started in 1994. It was way different back then. And the revamped game, a lot of people didn't really like, apparently, so people stopped playing for a while. I know, like, old players, it's kind of like with Star Stable, old players get mad, they quit, and there was old players in Horseland who didn't like the new updates, the microtransactions and everything, so they quit. And then the membership started to decline because people stopped buying it, and then, of course, Adobe Flash, like I said before, ended. So a lot of the game became non-functional, which I didn't even realize until recently. And then no official updates for the game, like, towards the end of 2016, kind of started. You know, we didn't really get much updates. So in 2016 is when I, I think, also was quitting the game because I was like, I don't really have to play Horseland anymore because I have Star Rider, of course, on Star Stable. But the updates for Horseland started to go away, and I think the last updates were in 2016. But then two years later, in 2018, I think they announced the game would shut down. And they were supposed to shut down, I think, in January of 2019, but then they ended up shutting down in April instead. So, sadly, the game is gone. There was also, like, a Horseland Junior option, which I have no experience playing. I think Junior was just for players who were under 13. So basically, if you're a kid playing Horseland Junior, then you weren't really able to send messages or use the chat option. Only like teenagers could. And you best believe the teenage chat on Horseland went wild. Like a lot of you guys complain about global chat. I know I do too, but nothing compares to the global chat on Horseland, when you're hanging out in the 2D forest, um, you know, areas in the game. Because there was, I think, 12 different areas in Horseland. And I know one of the main meeting spots was, like, I think a stable? Or, like, this, like, really fancy, like, water fountain? And I know the chats there were hectic. Like, I remember one time... <laughs> I, when I was a kid, I couldn't listen to Nicki Minaj. I was not able to listen to any singers that swore. And I remember I said in the game how, like, I can't listen to Nicki Minaj because she says swear word, you know? And then, literally, there were so many teenagers on that game who were like, you're a baby, you can't listen to Nicki Minaj. And then they would, like, make fun of the music I listened to if there was no swearing. So, that was great. Um... It is really funny because there would be like so many Barbie stands on Horseland who literally were like, they literally stan Nicki Minaj so hard. Like, understandable, of course, but the Horseland players, I remember, if you said you like Nicki Minaj, the chat would go crazy. People were spamming like starfish, starfish, starship lyrics, um, super bass, like just spamming it into the chat. It was so funny. It was really fun, and also the chat didn't really have a filter, I think, because I remember there was, like, there was teenagers and kids, like, using their Horseland account who were just, like, saying crazy stuff about their day or, like, stuff that happened to them. It was, like, they couldn't get therapy, so they used Horseland to just, like, say everything they felt into the global chat, which was just crazy. It was wild. But there was moderators, don't get me wrong. There was moderators. I don't really think the moderators were that great, but I also played in 2016 when I think updates kind of stopped. So I don't really blame them because, you know, if the website is going to fall apart soon because of Flash ending, then, you know. But basically, I had a really fun time in Horseland. 
uh, with the chat, with horses, with everything. Literally, the world was really fun. You could chat, meet with people, roleplay virtually. It was great. I didn't really have the money in the game to do much, except buy horses, because even if I didn't have the money to buy horses, I still would find a way to, because there always was one player who, by the way, you could buy horses and then sell them to other people. So that was really fun. In Star Stable, we can't do that. I wish we could, though. But in Horseland, literally, there would be players who would have, like, the worst horses, like, not trained, old horses, that I think the horses in that game did pass away eventually. So there was players who had, like, elderly horses that were untrained, and they were like, I don't want it. And they would sell it to me for, like, a dollar. And then I would literally have that horse, and I couldn't do anything with it. <laughs> literally, I was, like, collecting horses. Like, it was crazy. And I spent no money on the game because I wasn't allowed to. So I literally just had fun with whatever I was able to do in that game because I couldn't have Star Stable, so Horseland was the next best thing for me besides Bella Sarah. But the shop was really fun. There was different points, shows, training, breeding horses. I don't know if I ever was able to breed horses. I think only premium players were able to do that. But a lot of people did breed horses based off of Bloodline. I bought horses for their coat colors, but a lot of people did have horses simply for their genetics. Because a lot of people were into training and competing horses, so of course they made that their main thing to do. So of course the economy in the game was really fun because you could literally always be selling horses. Buying horses, selling horses, buying tack, buying everything you want to buy. But if you don't want stuff anymore, if you don't want your horses, you could just literally make your living off of the game by buying and selling horses or like by breeding horses and selling them. And because it's just a game, you could just have fun living your equestrian dream digitally. Players were actually allowed to like choose the price of what they want it to do. So if you want it to like sell horses for a lot, you could. Sell horses for a dollar, you could. If you want to have like your own stable to board out to other players, you could. Like there was always like option. You know, you could be a trainer, you could do just what you wanted to do. Like, I don't even have to go into detail because, like, moral of story, you could do whatever you wanted. It was like a free world, you know? You want to, like, have a bunch of horses? You can. You want to board horses? You can. You want to be a owner of a boarding stable? You can do that. You want to train horses, breed horses, race horses, like, hang out in the world, you know, sell horses, breed horses to sell them, <laughs> breed horses to have the best genetics to win all the shows. You could do that. Like, it was great. I'm sure I'm missing some stuff because it's been so many years since then, but moral of story, it was like a great game and I totally forgot about it for a long time. I was like, what was that game I used to play that was really fun? It was Horseland. That was what I was playing. I remember I would come home from like just having a day out and I would run to my computer to care for my Horseland horses because you had to care for them to keep them healthy, obviously. So yeah, that was what I did before I had Star Stable and I totally forgot I had that. I was thinking about it recently, I was like, hey, I didn't have Star Rider for months, so what was I doing on Star Stable all day? Championships, obviously. But you could do those, then log off, you know? So what I did in between, I guess, was just play Horseland. Because I spent a lot of time on Horseland. A lot. And I played it for a long time as well, because I remember I was playing it on a laptop when I was, a, when I was way young, when I was like, I think 14, 13. And then when I was younger than that, I think I played it on my parents' computer. So I was playing for, I guess, quite a few years. And I just totally forgot. But I was having... I had traumatic times. So maybe I just blocked it all out and forgot about it. But Horseland was fun. However, bullying was a big thing on the game. And I think that's also why I wanted to quit. Because, like, there was mods, but not really. Like, there was people sending me really mean messages because I was a younger player. Because some players were, like, 19, 18, 20. Meanwhile, I was, like, 13 or 14. So, you know, that's kind of, like, you know, not really going to have the best time in the game. Especially because I wasn't a premium player. And, like, in Star Stable, if you're not, you know, a Star Rider, you're going to get bullied for being a noob. And I was always going to be considered a noob in Horseland. So... You know, that's how it is in every game, but I had fun. I wish this game could come back, though, because I would play it again. I for sure would. I definitely would, because it was a really fun game. So I just wanted to talk about it because some people literally forgot it existed. Like, I know I did. So 
Yeah. Bye.